Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello, everybody. Welcome Hi, everybody. to Trashter Peace Theater. Trashter Peace Theater. Trashter Peace Theater. <laughs> you gotta say it first. <laughs> it's, it's, you no, you you start the Trashter Peace Theater part. I. You know what? I switched it up on you, and the ad libbing of all of you. I know. It. It. You, it, were, you, you caught us off guard. I was confused. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Close the curtains. Close the curtains. Start all over. Take start two. All over. Mulligan. Mulligan. <laughs> I want to redo. Uh, all right. Hi, everyone. Oh. Wait, are we? Yes. I don't know what's no. happening. Redo it. Close the curtains again. <laughs> at least. Stage directions from him. This Yabo? Don't listen to him. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good evening, and welcome to Trash to Peace Theater. Trash to Peace Theater. We're so glad to have you this evening. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We're gonna do a fun radio play for you tonight that maybe some of you some of you are a little more familiar with. If you Never haven't heard guessed of it. it yet. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. If you haven't guessed, tonight we're doing Casablanca. <gasps> Interesting. A random turnip has already donated to Brian. Le Marseille. Good. Yeah, I'll go with that. It's French. So, you, you go. so yeah, just don't pronounce the last half of it and you're accurate. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, I don't know who that is. Yeah. Can you give us a clue, random turnip? Yeah, yeah or somebody with opposable thumbs can Google it. That's also true. Oh, right. Uh, <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Beep boop boop. Yeah. <laughs> beep boop boop. Um, so yeah, can't, while I'm doing that, uh, Chunk, you want to go over incentive? Uh, in yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, or you can interact with the show. Oh. Uh, for ten dollars, you can give one of us a, an accent or an impression for us to do. Yeah. Like it just happened. Yeah, like it just happened. Uh, for fifteen dollars, you can give us a song to sing along to. Oh, and that's for... what that was. I got a song. Oh, it's oh. the French national oh. anthem. I, how? Why do you think oh. I would know what that is? <laughs> I live in America. <laughs> So many people who don't watch this should know. So sorry. <laughs> may or may not be best friends with Sam Eagle. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and for twenty dollars, you can make all of us do an accent as a group. For two pages. Yeah. For the, and then yeah, and if when we ever we reach hundred pages, we will sing. hundred pages. Two, $100. hundred pages. A hundred dollars. <laughs> we will sing a song. We will sing our lines for two pages. Please Boom. don't donate hundred pages. Save the trees. <laughs> oh oh oh! Hey Ryan, while you're there, yeah. let's just nix that fifteen dollar one. All right. So just for I mean it's fine that you donated that one from from here on we're gonna cut the the, the fifteen dollar uh, song one because we made a choice the other day we forgot to update it uh, mm. because it keeps us from reading our lines properly sometimes and so then people can't follow the story mm. so if we it, accents and 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 things like that are are fine but sometimes we can't sing this no the song that when they give us a specific song <laughs> Haley does not approve <laughs> so what's the answer what am I doing. You are you're, you're still doing that. You're still doing that because you're okay. Doing that Great. Well, we can discuss later. <laughs> we will discuss later because I've never been given that tip, and I've always wanted to sing something. Well, maybe you can sing your ten dollar tip then. Maybe I will. Yeah, maybe you can. You can. Feel free. <laughs> <gasps> oh my God, it's a hard copy I know. I'm sharing okay. with you. <laughs> a random this. turnip says you can be generally French for your song. <laughs> oh no, man! I'm I'm googling the song right now. I'm listening to it. Oh no! What about Farrah Jaka? I don't know if you can hear it. What about admirably French? <laughs> Adamantly French. Admirably. Ad admirably. No, I like adamant. Well, bonjour, monsieur. No, be privately French or majorly Bonjour, French. Majorly French. <laughs> Generally, general, major. <laughs> Admiral, yeah. funny, funny enough, I, I actually recognize the beginning of that song. I've heard that before. So, huh. what is it? Is that, what is it? And now I got to listen to it one more time. I haven't memorized it. I've heard it once. <laughs> oh, and we've got <laughs> Screw Chunk. Sing your heart out, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> There's not even a song there. Oh, yeah, no? no song. You yeah. gotta give him a song. <laughs> Sing your heart out, okay. He didn't give him a tune or a band or something. I mean, singing's fine. I'm just saying, singing to a tune sometimes is hard. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. Like singing saying. to the tune of Pleasure Musket? Yeah, and then you can't say your lines. And it's hard. Uh, now when you do. What do you mean? I'm kidding. I can't. <laughs> 
that's what makes it so fun. But okay, all right. Well, while Brian is uh, trying to figure out what the French national anthem sounds like, let's go around the room and introduce ourselves and what characters we'll be playing tonight. Yeah. And I'm Chunk. <laughs> okay. And I'm just starting. I'm just starting. And I'm playing Peggy. And then I'm playing Rick. Peggy. I'm playing Rick because I'm the most uh, uh, most Rick-like person in the cast. Mm. Uh, and then I'm okay. playing Carl. Yeah. Oh. Well, never, no, never mind the 1940s fedora I'm wearing. But go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I'm also. Oh, by the way, uh, I, this is in here because it was hard to describe the trio of singers that's in the cast. That's Brian, me, and Haley. Oh, trio oh. of singers. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Trio of singers. Got it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Trio of singers. Hear each other. So ah, we'll trio. It's going to be a canon, two. is what it is. Yeah. Um, Ryan. Thank you. Thank you. Yourself. I Happy am Ryan. Happy belated birthday, boy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I Happy will be playing. <laughs> yes, yes. Wednesday. Oh well. Um. Yes, I will be playing the Lux announcer. No, I will guy. also be play playing a spry right. announcer, whatever that means. I will be playing Laszlo, and I'll be playing Heinz. And I will also be playing a gendarme, a French officer. Ooh, like Jean-Claude? Lord Van Damme. <laughs> Jean-Claude, gendarme? No, this, it is what a officer of the French Yeah, police. I know, but oh. your your officer's name is Jean-Claude. Or oh, Jean-Claude yes. Valjean Valjean. Yeah, Jean-Claude Van Damme Gandam. Yeah, whatever. We're going to make it as long as Andre's name. <laughs> yeah, it should be as long as Andre's name. Van Damme Van Damme Van Damme Van Damme John. And we knew your birthday was Wednesday. I'm sorry, I just don't know what day it is because... Because days. Yeah. Because days. <laughs> it's all the it's same day. it's been Tuesday for like six days. Yeah. It has been. No, it's not. If it was Tuesday, we'd be playing Solids. Or maybe Thursday. I don't know. I just don't know anymore. Anyway, I'm... Oh, I see. Tuesday, because the like. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh, no, no. I see. Also, also. I'm Haley. I will be playing Libby Collins, Ilsa, who is Hedy Lamar, Cassale, which is, who is renounced lieutenant, Hedley. and one of the trio of singers. The trio of singers. Oh, I forgot the color code at the end again. Oh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all right, pal. And I'm. <laughs> Sorry, I've never seen Casablanca, so <gasps> your favorite movie. You don't know what happens. Watch it. I know. No spoilers, please. Well, she's oh, going to find you, out. You get to live this out. Well, <laughs> I know she doesn't get on the plane, or does she? Or does okay. she? Okay. Okay. Well, know. you know what? Why? Why do it now? Why yep. do the play now? It's Just, canceled. No, Show's canceled. over. Canceled. We already know the end. <laughs> Justin spoiled uh, it. I said, or does she? Uh, TKH328, thanks for the resub. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. Okay. Uh, uh, hey. Yep. Oh. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Brian. That's fine. Do it. Hey, I'm Justin. <laughs> uh, I'm playing Jim. Uh, also, I'm playing Renault, who is a uh, French prefect of police. Oh. And Sacha. I'm, the, uh, I'm at a rival cafe. <gasps> Not the rivals. Well, oh, the rival cafe. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna duke it out with dance. <laughs> yeah, beard on Batman. If you thought it wasn't ruined before, I mean, this is trash piece theater. We're gonna tear it a new one. For ruined for life. Ruined. 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 Uh, I'm Brian. I'm gonna play Cecil B. DeMille, your host. Uh, Sue. God, Sue. Just Sue. Like a man named Sue. Yeah. Johnny Cash. Chunk. Chunk did art. Put this together again. You, you know what? I was trying to make the sexist commercials a little more humorous and less sexist. So I cast you and I as the girls in the commercial. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> now I know exactly what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> make it extremely sexist. Um, not, not at all. Uh, and then I'm also playing Strasse, the Nazi major. So that'll be fun. Uh, th thanks for that, I guess. You're welcome. <clears throat> um, and then... Uh, Berger of the Underground. So cool, I get to flip-flop sides. <laughs> uh, Ugarte. I hope I'm pronouncing Ugarte correctly. I guess that's it. Uh, Please, Sam. Uh, oh, I get to play Sam the piano player. He's like the coolest. Play it again. Um, play it, Sam. Please talk. Play it again, Sam. Eagle for him, though. Huh? Love Sam Eagle. Can you just make him Sam Eagle? Oh. Um, no. <laughs> no. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, Ferrari, the rival cat. Oh, I'm also a rival cafe owner. No, you're my rival cafe owner. But Rick. you're at no, you're Sacha at the rival cafe. I'm the rival cafe owner. Oh, I'm at the cafe. <laughs> you yes. haven't seen us either, have you? Oh, <laughs> I'm at the rival cafe. We'll, we'll oh. find out. I'm, uh, and then I, I, I'm also a loudspeaker, <laughs> like ge like generically. <laughs> generically, yes. yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Repeating what everybody says, just extra loud. <laughs> pretty accurate that's an snl sketch <laughs> right yeah that's it's great with, uh uh morris um gavin morris never mind <laughs> uh also brian i think i color coded wrong Ber berger so you yeah. just blue for a minute just just that. look for berger is that what you're saying yeah it's blue right now it's like it's page five it's All only right. page five so it's not a big yeah, well just yell at me if i stop talking <laughs> okay uh i do I wasn't going to get it, but now I, anyway. I'm not in for it. Okay. I did not color cut everything correctly this week. Mm -hmm. No, that's okay. I thought Cash I did it, though. It's a lot of, it's a lot Wait, of work. You are you taking over for art's work? Yeah. <laughs> that's why it's not so good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's hard to do it without <laughs> thumbs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. I just punch keys with my nose. <laughs> oh, no wonder why it's accurate. Uh, it's funny. So instead of saying like fat fingers when you miss text, you just say fat nose. Fat nose. Fat nose. Fat nose. Yeah. <laughs> hey, no, that's never one. Hey, <laughs> fat nose. Nah, oh, that's oh Haley left again. She did. How are we gonna start without Haley? I guess. I guess. I guess we'll wait. Yeah. Yeah. No, go ahead. She's not in for a while, apparently. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, Jezamil Pendragon, thanks for the follow. Thanks for the follow. Hello. I think I got the name right. Je Boom. Sorry, guys, I was thirsty. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that? Oh, I couldn't tell if that was a drink or cleaning products. <laughs> Look, soap. <laughs> <laughs> Lux flakes. Lux flakes. Good down your throat. That's hilarious. Uh, uh, thanks oh. for the, a, a rand, me as a rand, as an angry German. Okay, well, you're going to regret this. <laughs> oh. uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. Because this is the reason I didn't cast me as the German guy, because I have a terrible German impression. <gasps> yeah, by terrible, I mean none at all. I have nothing. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, just sound angry and you'll be German. Mm. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's do it. Lux right. Radio Theater, Casablanca. January twenty fourth, nineteen forty four. Ah, so this came. This uh, show was done after the movie came out. Yeah, two years after the movie came out. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Lux presents Hollywood. Don't know if this is copyright free. <laughs> the Lux Radio Theater brings you Hedy Lamar, Alan Ladd, and John Lauder in Casablanca with Edgar Barrier. Ladies and gentlemen, your producer, Mr. Cecil B. DeMille. <laughs> All right. Greetings from the Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. One bright January morning just a year ago, the city of Casablanca in French Morocco woke up and found itself very famous. It had entertained many mysterious visitors from a world at war. But never before the President of the United States and the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Within a few days, Warner Brothers had rushed their screen drama, Casablanca, to the theaters of the nation. And people marveled at Hollywood Miracle. Actually, of course, the picture had been planned and filmed during a month's previous because Casablanca had an exciting story to tell even before the President and Prime Minister arrived. And it's a story of love and hate in the background and adventure of sudden death. It got more exciting. How long do I sing for? I already forgot. Ten lines. Ten lines. Okay. <clears throat> you can make each of these paragraphs a line. Because they're big. <laughs> oh, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. 
So basically, the, the, what, oh, the next unless you want to count this whole thing as a line, because it's technically this whole thing. Oh, see, I have Strasser on like the next page, so I definitely want to not sing for that. Okay. I would say like this would probably be enough for the ten lines. Yeah, this would be enough for the ten yeah. lines. The both pages. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Copy that. And then I also got another donation. You so did. I guess as Trump. That's oh. as Trump. Um, we're gonna pass on that one. Okay. Wouldn't that just be you, like? Wouldn't that just be you like leaving? Uh, you can do an impression of it's just you just tell this like do. You know. I, I I wasn't concerned about knowing how to do it, but <laughs> you said leave it. Yeah, yeah nothing, we're, we're gonna pass on that one. Yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Much? Yeah, yeah. So mainly, might yeah. choose something not political. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's keep the garbage. I know it's a trash piece, but let's keep it classy here, okay? And beard, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I want to see you. I want to see you get on this side of the camera with this setup and try to figure it out yourself. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Can you ask Andrew to stay out of the shop, please? <laughs> He's in the shop? Let me, the let me put a little Get bit of, of curtain over his face. There, there we go. <laughs> God. Yeah, God. Get the text to bring in the curtain. Jesus. All right, back to tonight. We bring you the drama with the cast of producers. Dream about Hello. Hedy Lamar and Alan Ladd and John Loader. Hetty came back to town last week from Texas. It was one of the applause of soldiers at Camp Hood still ringing in her ears. It got, like, interesting. Let me give you her backstory. Uh, so we borrowed her from Metro Goldwyn Mayer, and she just completed the picture, Heavenly Body. Alan Ladd, of course, came to us from Paramount. I'm hoping to have Alan for my next picture, the following story of Dr. Wassell. Getting these players together in one drama is a talent scoop of the first magnitude in Hollywood, and it's unlikely that it would ever happen in a picture because our stars are under contract at different studios and are kept so busy in their home lots that they aren't loaned out, as the phrase goes. It's a lot of information. Just get Good to right. the show, Cecil B. the Mill. <laughs> We really could thank Lux Toilet Soap for making this occasion possible. Every bit of work and artistry that has gone into our production from the first word of the script on paper to the final dress rehearsal has been designed for your enjoyment. Do, 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 do. I hope that's the right song because that's the version I heard. <laughs> <clears throat> we might call it soap as a, we might call it a bonus that you get to, when, when you get to buy Lux Toilet Soap above and beyond the bonus of beauty that you expect. And we'll pay that bonus right now as the curtain rises on the first act of Casablanca, starring Alan Ladd as Rick and Hedy Lamar as Isla Lund. Isla Lund. Ilsa Lund. There it is. There it is. Isla. And John Loder as Victor Laszlo with Edgar Barrier as Renault. Music introduction. Okay, good to know we have that stuff only once. Um, <laughs> everyone knows that the name today is Casablanca. Before the war, Casablanca was just another small sea pole art with its face to the Mediterranean and it's back to the North Atlantic. But then as the Nazi lash descended upon Europe, hordes of refugees like the boiling waters of the Burst Dam flooded into the sanctuary of its white walls. And those with money, enough or influence enough, obtained exit visas bearing the seal of the Vichy government and fled to Lisbon and from Lisbon to the Americas. And others just waited and waited and waited but all who came to Casablanca were not refugees. The German intelligence was always there when anything unusual occurred, as, for example, the murder of two Nazi couriers. All right. <laughs> you got there. Our dog is hating your singing right now, by the way. He's like, I'm, I'm, hating, I'm <laughs> hating my singing. He is. <laughs> He's being very vocal about it. Like the American dog. Yeah, I, I hate um, the singing, too. Hold on a second. <clears throat> so... I immediately went looking for our dog in the chat. I'm like, who's our dog? <laughs> no, he's, not, he's right after what's up. <laughs> Stupid. No. Um, no, Brian, <laughs> now that you're back, Manly Mutt has decided it's Jar Jar Banks. So, <laughs> oh, is everybody just, just tr <laughs> trying to destroy my voice tonight? Yeah. Gee. <laughs> I mean, you go back to try. It's. Welcome to Trash to Peace Theater. That's a piece of it. All right. Now we got through that. <sighs> Major Strasser, may I present no Captain Renault, police ca prefect of Casablanca. On a captain, 
France welcomes you, Major. Ah, uh, thank you. You may find the climate of Casablanca a trifle warm. Ah, we Germans must get used to our climates, Captain. From Russian to the Sahara. You got a long tongue, okay? <laughs> but perhaps we're not referring to the weather. I don't. I don't even. Wait, know are you German I'm, and Jar Jar Binks? I'm, I'm trying. Jar yes, because that's I don't great. Know, I don't, I don't I'm, even I'm know enjoying what Jar sounds it's like good, anymore. It's good. I, I it's don't good, watch. No, you're good. Keep going. That's a okay. that's a choice. Spatan, spatan. Oh, what's my temperature? Ah, the mighties of the couriers. <laughs> what? <laughs> what has been done about it? Captain Renault already knows about the murders. Who the murderer is. Oh, excellent. I'm just going to keep changing it. It's fine. <laughs> He's in custody. There is no hurry. Tonight we will come to the Ricks. That cafe, Major, I pointed out to you. Everybody in Casablanca comes to Ricks, but this one will, will not leave. Oh, frankly, Captain, I did not journey here to simply find an assassin. The real reason for my visit is Victor Lawaz. <laughs> <laughs> at, at this point, I have completely forgotten what Jar Jar sounds like. <laughs> I thought as much. Has he arrived yet? Yes, this afternoon with a very beautiful young woman, I met the him. Reno, Laszlo, must not leave Casablanca. I have learned that he is prepared to offer a fabulous bribe for the visa to Lisbon. I am prepared to refuse it now, baby, baby. Where's he to stay in, Misa Yusinosa? Major, I even know the time he intends to bathe. <clears throat> I would like a Tatakata with the Laszlo. Misa can it be arranged? <laughs> There it is. Undoubtedly, <laughs> he too will be a Riggs. To not everybody come to Riggs. Or oh, did I see him mention mention that before? I don't even know. I'm tension. Okay, that's enough. I'm done. <laughs> Thanks for the donation. <laughs> a band plays a brisk dance tune. Yes, Monsieur. It's my angry German. Ah, I see. Um, I reserved a table. Victor Laszlo. Yes. Monsieur Laszlo! No! Welcome! <laughs> Just one moment, please! Victor, are you sure we should have come here? It's so in public? Kara. No, sir. <laughs> There's often a reason. There's often a greater no. safety in that what appears to be at risk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. I just saw, I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> I just saw the donation. <laughs> I see no one here of Ugart's description. He said, do I? He'll be there. Oh. And I'm, I'm still on my voice too, right? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. I have a ring here. What? A ring. I'm a forced to, forced to tell you, sir. It's at a great sacrifice, sir. Well, I hardly think that I... <laughs> yeah, perhaps the lady, yes. Uh, Miss the ring uh, is quite unique, uh, you see. Uh, that's it, Victor. Yes, it's a very interesting ring. What's your name? Uh, Berger, Monsieur, sir. Uh, Miss recognized you from the newspaper photographs, sir. Uh, Miss read five times that you were killed in five different places. <laughs> All right, everyone is uh, Brian's Brian charger. charger. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to do it twice as long, Ryan. I do. I have five extra lines after this. Yeah, yeah what am I done? I forget. Is it well, ten? Ten? Did you do well, ten already? But I think you did ten. But then, but now everybody. Has no, to now we have to do it together. Two pages. Brian's charger. So keep doing what you're doing. So we've got Ugh. this half page, and then a full page, and then a half page after that. Good thing I canceled my public speech for tomorrow. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. I see you so I can see. It's true each time. Thank heavens we found you, Burger. I am looking for some man by the name of Ugart. Uh, he's supposed to help us assist. 
It's a burger. I'm not an American burger. <laughs> He's here to somewhere. You need all the help as you can get. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. uh, this time they mean to stop me. Oh, Misa, so afraid for you, Victor. Kupo. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in difficult places before, sir. <clears throat> Quiet, the waiters come in the back. That's all, sir, burgers. Uh, meet us at the bar later. Misa don't think we want to buy the ring, but uh, thank you for showing it to us, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, it's me, sir. A friend's Rick. A friend's Ugarte. Oh, so he come in, sir. <laughs> All right, what do you so want? That's not his laugh. I don't even <laughs> What's his laugh? Oh, uh, Elmo. I know. <laughs> what, what's Jar Jar's laugh? <laughs> that sounds the same to me. Jar Jar laughs. Nothing much, Rick. Uh, too so bad about those German couriers, eh? Oh, this is the break. Just that they were just two clerks. Today they're among the honored dead. <laughs> you will forgive me, sir, for saying this, Rick. But you are a very cynical person. <laughs> I, sir, forgive you, sir. <laughs> you should despise me, sir, don't you? Well, if I should give you any thought, I probably would, sir. But think of the poor refugees who must go rat in the Casablanca if I did not help them. Is it so bad that through ways of my own I provide them with the exit visas? For the price of Ugarte! For the price! Oh, these poor wretches who cannot meet the rats and run out the prices. I get it for them at half. Is that so parasitic? Well, sir, I don't mind the parasite. I just object to the cut rate one. And you're good. Well, Yay! All of us? Yeah. Yes. Uh, unless you still have more of your... Well, you're good. No. I still no. have five more to go for myself. Uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> well, after tonight, I'm through with the whole business. I'm leaving Casablanca, Rick. Look! What? <laughs> look, Rick, look! Do you know what these papers are? Oh. Letters of transit signed by Marshal oh. Wagand. With his signature, they cannot be rescinded or questioned. Not even by Renault. Okay, so we also have another thing now. Oh, okay. We have... Uh, so we got $20. Ten of it is for Cheerleader for Chunk. And ten of it is for Hyperactive Haley. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my German thing first, though. Okay, and then we're also at Sing Lines. Okay, we'll do... <laughs> So, I, yeah. thought, finish, finish German, I thought group accents was just for two pages. Yeah. It doesn't like roll over to other people, right? Oh, that's right. Wow. Well. Because so we wouldn't have Jar Jar Binks then. No, no you guys no. are done with Jar Jar Binks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Also, the uh, donation bar says sign lines. Yeah. So unless we're going to sign something with our autographs, <laughs> probably change it. We're doing all. Not ASL, so we're just gonna make up. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, yeah, I wish I knew how to. So let's just, let's finish this page and then we'll do the singing. Yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Where you live off? Uh, so I'm selling these for more money than I ever dreamed. Oh, of. sing lines, sing lines is what he was asking about. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> so. I'm selling these for more money than I ever dreamed of. And then, goodbye. What are you trying to say, Ugarte? Rick, I have many friends in Casablanca, but you despise me. You are the only one I trust. Will you keep these letters for me? How long? Mm, for an hour, perhaps. Till my client arrives. Okay, but I don't want them here overnight. Oh, thank you, thank you. No fear of that. Now, Rick, I hope you're more impressed with me. I'll go share my luck now with your roulette wheel. Hey, wait a minute. Yes. 
I heard a rumor that those Nazi couriers will carry letters or transit. No! <clears throat> yes, poor devils, I heard that rumor too. You're right, Dugarty. I'm a little impressed with you. Hey, and yeah, no, continues in the background. <laughs> Renault! <laughs> um, oh, oh, oh. <coughs> Come on, you have the hat on him too. Good evening, Rick. Oh, hello, Renault. Yeah. Yeah, that plane, Ricky, it's going to Lisbon. You'd like to be on it? Why, what's in Lisbon? The clipper that goes to America. Rick, I haven't often speculated on why you do not return to America. There's a roulette table inside for people who like to speculate. Yes, I noticed your gert uh, just went in. <laughs> Ugarte. Ugarte. Your... <laughs> <laughs> he just is... went in. He, yes, he'll come up poor. What was it, Rick? What, uh, whatever brought you to Casablanca? Did you abscond with the church funds back home? Did you run off with somebody's wife? I should like to think that you killed a man. It's the romantic in me. Well, I tell you, it was a combination of all three. Someday I'll find out. Oh, Rick, before you came, I took the liberty of escorting a visitor to your best table. A German, Major Strazer. I wanted him to be on hand for the excitement, because tonight we're making an arrest here. <coughs> Again? Huh? This time a murderer, please don't warn him, Rick. Now look, I'll stick my neck out for nobody. When I'm staging the arrest here, out of my high regard for you, it'll interest the customers. And perhaps Major Strasser. Are we still singing? No, no you're done. Just... Am I doing Jar Jar Binks? We're done with that. We're no, done. we're done with you that. Uh -huh. Perhaps. Casser. Uh, uh, yes, Captain. You will find Franz Ugarte inside the, the roulette table. Yes. All right, hyperactive alien. <laughs> Arrest him for the murder of German couriers. <laughs> yes, Captain! <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, he'll be carrying some letters of transit. Be sure you get to them. Yes, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I like this comes with full body motions, too. <laughs> She's already a Muppet, so you've just given her the go-ahead. <laughs> Rick. Lois! There, there is more than Ugarte on your mind tonight. Oh, you're very observant, Rick. There are many exit visas sold in this cafe. But we know that you have never sold them. That is... Why I permit you to remain open? No! I thought it was it was because I let you win that roulette! Oh, that's another reason. What the? Where did that go? <laughs> uh, French. Uh huh. Jean Claude Van Damme. Oh, thanks for the, the donation random turn up. Uh, Brian, as someone who gets sucker, sucker punched mid sentence. <laughs> that's really creative. Oh, this is going to be good that for what's really coming good. up. <laughs> Uh, Rick, a man arrived today in Casablanca on his way to America. Right now, he is at the bar. He will offer a fortune to anyone who will furnish him with an exit visa. What man? Victor Laszlo. <gasps> Why, Ricky, this is the first time I've ever seen you so interested. Laszlo has succeeded in interesting half of the world. I wonder how he'll manage it. Manage what? His, his, his escape! Oh, cheerleader. He escaped from a concentration camp at the, and the Nazis have chased him all over Europe. But this is the end of the chase, Rick. 10,000 francs, say it isn't. Make it 5,000. I'm only a poor corrupt official. No, no matter how clever he is, he still needs to ex an exit visa. I should say two. He's traveling with a lady. 
Here! He'll settle! He'll settle for one! Oh, I think not. I have seen the lady. Now, where did you get... Where did you get the idea that I might help Laszlo? Laszlo! 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 <laughs> because I know all about you, Ricky. Enough at least to know you're more uh, a sentimentalist not a cynic, than a cynic. I know that in 1935, 1935, you ran guns into Ethiopia. I know that in 1936, you risked your neck with the loyalists in Spain. And got well paid on both occasions. The winning side w would have paid you much better. Maybe. Lewis, why do you want to keep Laszlo? Laszlo, here, Gestapo, spank! Uh, you overestimate the influence of uh, Gestapo. In Casablanca, I'm the boss. I do not interfere with them, nor they... <laughs> Carcel is a very noisy policeman. Musical bridge. Boom, 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 boom. Can you say that word? Oh, 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 no. Monsieur? Mi yeah. That's Monsieur? Monsieur. Mm -hmm. That's Monsoir. Yeah, Monsieur. Monsieur. Yeah. It's the same thing, right? Monsieur, like Monsieur Laszlo. Monsieur Laszlo. Yep. No. Mademoiselle Leon. Welcome to Rick's. <laughs> be our guest, be our guest. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you so welcome us this afternoon at the airport, Captain. I welcome everyone everywhere. Oh, my profoundest apologies for the recent disturbance. <clears throat> Most unfortunate. Yes, the poor man who was killed. Horrible. Horrible, mademoiselle. Oh. Ah. Ah. But then, then, may I ask, why did you hit me and oh. remain? <laughs> oh. Permit me. Uh, Major Strasser, Mademoiselle Lund, Monsieur Laszlo. We've heard of you, Major. I'm not the Major. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> major? The Major asks, why did you remain after the regrettable shooting? We, sir, were here to meet someone. He's not yet arrived. Uh, you, sir, uh, I think perhaps we should leave now. It might be wise, Monsieur. I do not think your friend will come. Ow! <laughs> they just removed the body of Franz Ugarte to the morgue. God, that hurt. Franz Ugarte? Your friend. I'm sorry, Captain, uh, but the names of Franz Ugarte means uh, absolutely nothing to me, sir. Oh, 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 come now, Monsieur. What's it, Monsieur? Monsieur. It is, what's I know, what, it what's looks weird, really weird. Monsieur. Monsieur? We know that you and... Well, you know. <laughs> this is enough for tonight. Uh, tomorrow at 10, Monsieur Laszlo. Ow! Jesus! Spicer! Ah! This hurts, sir! <laughs> In the captain office, this mademoiselle. We're not under your authority, Major. This is French soil. Captain Renault, it is your order. Is it your order that we come to your office? Uh, let us say that it is, it is, it is my request. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, thank you, TKH 328. Um, that is, everyone is now randomly being tasered and joy buzzered mid performance. <laughs> ah, let's do, finish do I this like, that one. Let's finish this line so what? we can start playing. Yeah, all the way to the end of the page. The thing? Okay. What's joy buzzard. I mean, huh? what is joy buzzard? Is that like when you like, you shake somebody's hand and it goes? Zzz. Yeah, that little like prank. The little prank toy. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh. Not, not not that. Not I mean, that. If you if, if you want to do that. Feel free. Nope, thank you. I just Feel free. A little it is not a pleasure muscle. <laughs> yeah, it's a handheld dip. Or No, it's a joy buzzer. <laughs> pleasure buzzer. It's not a pleasure buzzer. Yeah. Educate us, Haley. Educate us. <laughs> just saying. If it can fit on your hand, that means it's smaller than a musket, so it's mm. you can operate it with one hand, you see. Okay. I got it. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> I started mine last time, uh, but you want us to hold off on it? Yeah, yeah, to the end of the page, so we can start the two pages cleanly. Okay. Easy to keep track of. <laughs> Very well. At 10 o'clock in the morning. Oh! Come on. 
Who keeps punching me? Good night. Sleep well, Major. Now, my friends, after all this unpleasantness, a little relaxation. Uh, sit down, please. Uh, waiter. And now he's buzzer. Yes, Capitan. <laughs> uh, a bottle of the best champagne. <laughs> um, put it on my bed. Oh, now, please. It's a fuck. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> Did you just mess yourself up? No. Oh. <laughs> I thought you pulled Wow. Acting. That is acting. Ah. And the award goes to. Yeah. Well, Tonight's you, best performance goes to. Brain, no, like, hey, I was going back in my mind when we did uh, Tough Mudder and we were literally getting electrocuted. I went there. Nice. <laughs> Method. Acting. acting, method acting, acting, acting. fooled her own husband. <laughs> acting, her own husband. <laughs> That's yep. what I heard too. But I didn't know. Well, when you have a joy buzzer, sometimes you have to fool your husband. You know. Hey, oh. <laughs> yes, she went there. That's where I was gonna go. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Moving on. All right, it's your line. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Girl, go. You guys uh, want to hyperactive Haley? She's here. Uh, oh, they put it on my bill. I tear the bill up. It's just a little game that we play. Hey. Oh, like I can mm. like that one. <laughs> we shouldn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get buzzed? <laughs> he's really, uh, he's really expanding on his pleasure musket. Oh! <laughs> oh. oh, it's getting warm here. This is gonna take off the jacket. <laughs> loosen the tie. Loosen the tie. It'll make it better. I think his, uh, his buzzer is malfunctioning. It's overheating. Oh, man. I'm glad we're black and white, or else you'd be seeing how red Ryan is right now. Uh -huh. <laughs> we seem to be the only ones left. I am afraid, Ricky, uh, we will be very cross. Uh, just mm. got a new donation as well. Oh, thank you, <laughs> Everyone's favorite adult actress, Joy Buzzer. <laughs> Funny. Buzzer? I don't even know her. Uh, I am afraid that uh, Ricky w will be very close with me. Cross with me. Killing one customer and driving the others away. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's no reason why you shouldn't be entertained. <laughs> <Sam>. <laughs> I like that. You know I do. <laughs> uh, Sam? Evening, <laughs> Captain. Uh, sing something nice for my guests, Sam. Oh, where were you on that one? I'm sorry. I oh, think they keep doing it. <laughs> Do it again. Sing something nice for my guests, Sam. <laughs> Show! It had to be you. It had to be you. Oh, Marlon. Mademoiselle, I have been informed that you were the most beautiful woman ever to wait, uh, ever to visit Casablanca. <laughs> that is a gross understatement. Thank you. You are very kind. <laughs> Kind. <clears throat> You're very kind. Uh, Captain, that man sings singing. <laughs> singing. <laughs> I'm like super jealous at how good that is right now. <laughs> like, like you really want some? <laughs> I mean, yes. <laughs> it helps to have someone else prod you. <laughs> yeah, does it, huh? That's a Jesus. You get a real reaction that one. Oh, yeah. Hey, Ryan, you want to come in this room? <laughs> <laughs> Go prod him. Go prod him. Prod each other. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, I have no qualms. It <laughs> had to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, whose line is it? It's mine. It's mine. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. He's been staring at me for the last past five minutes, Ilsa. 
Are we still, are we still doing taser or are we doing taser? We still got another page of it. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be done like at 10.30 today. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've seen him before some z- air somewhere. Somewhere. I've seen him. Oh, sorry. I was, um, oh, Sam. Uh, oh, he came here from Paris uh, with Rick. Rick? <laughs> you gotta wait till me. I... Well, I thought you weren't gonna do it this time. <laughs> Who is? Yeah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? Renault. There it is. Uh, but man, <laughs> 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 You are you are in Rick's. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> and uh, Rick is uh, well, <laughs> wow. well. He is the kind of man that. Uh, <laughs> well, <clears throat> excuse me. If I were a woman and I were not around, I would be in love with Rick. No offense, Monsieur. If you. Uh, if you both won't think me terribly rude. Ah, that fucking hurts! I like how you make the noise yourself. Will you excuse me a moment? I, I, I just want to talk to Sam. To Sam? Of course, oh, of course, my dear. Hurry back, mademoiselle. <laughs> Hello, Sam. So paranoid you're going to do it now. <laughs> Hello, Miss Elsa. I n- never expected to see you again. It's been a long time. <laughs> yes. Yes. Where? Where? Where is he? Where is he? Sam? <laughs> and you're <Here> good. <laughs> Why? Uh, uh, who, Miss? Uh, Rick? <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know. I ain't seen him all night. Will he be back? Uh, not tonight, no more. He ain't coming. He, uh, he went home. Does he always leave so early after shooting? Oh, Sam, you used to be so much better a liar. Do, 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 do. Leave him alone, Miss Elsa. You're bad luck to him. Sam, play it once, for old time's sake. <laughs> I, I don't know what you mean. Play it, Sam, as time goes by. I, I can't remember it, Miss Elsa. Please sing it, Sam. Oh, uh, Miss Elsa, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. The fundamental things apply as time goes by. And when two lovers woo, they still say... (laughs) Sam, I thought I told you to never play play that again. Now you've done it. Oh, Rick, come here. I want you to meet some charming people. Well, hello, Elsa. Hello, Rick. I'm done. (laughs) Oh. You two know each other. Then you also know Monsieur Victor Laszlo? No. Oh. Adult actress. Laszlo. I know, I know. Okay. (laughs) Trying to figure out this voice. One hears a great deal about Rick in Casablanca. Oh, Joy Buzzer, right. You're an adult actress. I really want to like Marilyn Monroe. But you do you. Lay it on slutty there, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some. You know, you know when you when you answer questions, you go, mmm. Accidentally, you act sexy sounds to yours. Yeah. Dwayne does, does that a lot. You drink in a conversation and just answer with, mmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That'd be yeah, a great some of those. place to start. I think it's a good place to start. Yeah, mm-hmm. just do some of those. Yeah, or try to act your way through a paper bag, but don't totally believe in the story that you're yeah. putting forward. Either or. Yeah. Okay. Or remember how it felt to sit on that joy buzzer you were sitting on a minute ago. Yeah. You got <laughs> options. You got options. Yeah. <laughs> and any of that. We trust you. We trust you. Don't worry. Everyone's watching. Yeah. Just take yeah. it away. Yeah. All right. So do you want to do, yeah, do your, your line, line and we'll go do from there? Your, no, do your line again. Fine. Oh. One hears 
a great deal about Rick in Casablanca. Mm. Mm. And about everywhere. Yeah. Won't you join us for a drink? I hate this. <laughs> you asked for I'm it. Like I know I asked for it, but keep going. Keep going. This is a most interesting cafe. Even without gunplay, okay. I congratulate you. And I congratulate you. <laughs> what for? For your work. Oh, thank you. I try. <laughs> we all try. You succeed. <laughs> well, I can't get over you two knowing each other. I wasn't sure you were the same. Let's see, the last time we met, wasn't it in Paris? Ah, uh, well, that shouldn't be too hard to remember. It was the day the Germans marched in. The Germans wore gray, you wore blue. Ilsa, I don't wish to be the one to say it, but late. Uh, yes, so it is. Carl, the bill. Uh, forget it, Carl. It's my party. Oh, it is. Well, all in all, a most unusual evening. We'll come again. Yeah, you will do that. <laughs> <laughs> will you please say good night to, to Sam for me? Will you say good night to Sam for me? Sure. Mm -hmm. There's still no one in the world who can sing as time goes by like Sam. Uh, yeah, he hasn't done that in a long time. Good night. I'd like to, just one word with Rick, Monsieur Laszlo, and then, if you wish, I'd be delighted to drive you to your hotel. Oh, thank you. We'll uh, we'll wait outside. <laughs> He's a very puzzling fellow, this Rick. Just, uh, just what sort is he? I really can't say. I met him in Paris. We were once acquaintances. Applause! 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 In just a few minutes, Mr. DeMille presents Hedy Lamar, Alan Ladd, and John Lauder in Act Two of Casablanca. And now, here are two young workers in a busy office getting ready to leave for their day. Sue, you look, you look in that mirror any harder and you're going to break it. What, what the anxious exp why the anxious expression? No letter from Jim today? Yes! Jim wrote, and he may get a furlough next month! Hmm. Uh, say, Peggy! Uh, yes, Sue? You know everyone used to say what a swell complexion I had? I guess it was my best feature, but lately, it doesn't look like anything. Oh, I lost the old sparkle, eh? And now you're worried because Jim's coming home, and you've been working hours, all hours lately, huh? And neglecting your beauty care, I bet. Well, it's easier not to bother sometimes, I'll admit. Yes, and it's practically fatal to take that attitude about your looks. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen to your Aunt Peggy, Susie. She's going to prescribe you some fa uh, everyday facial without fail. An active lather facial. Active lather facial? With Lux toilet soap, the soap screen starts use. But believe me, it works. I know because Lux so Lux soap care help my skin look nicer. Now there's what now here's what you do. <clears throat> and this is what Lux soap beauty facial Peggy told her friends to take. Cover your face with a nice creamy lather. Okay. Work it in gently, okay. but thoroughly too. Okay. Now rinse with warm water. Splash with cold and dry with a soft towel. Mm. <laughs> Easy, isn't it? Just try it every single day from now on. And only a few weeks later, Sue said, Oh, Peggy! <clears throat> I owe you and Lux Soap a world of thanks! What a thrill it was to have Jim tell me! Sue, darling, you look lovely. Prettier than ever. Many a girl has found daily Lux toilet soap facials really make skin lovelier. Recent tests show that actually three out of four complexions improve with this care. Grew softer, smoother. 
Why not let this fine white soap give your skin protection pr skin protecting care it should have? Ask for Lux Toilet Soap tomorrow, and if you find your dealer is temporarily out of stock due to wartime conditions, he's sure to have more soon. Remember, Lux Toilet Soap, Hollywood's beauty soap, is worth waiting for. And now, Mr. DeMille returns to the microphone. Act two of Casablanca, starring Alan Ladd as Rick, Hedy Lamar as Ilsa, and John Loder as Victor, with Edgar Barrier as Renault. It's Headley. 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 <clears throat> it's hours later, and in Rick's cafe, a solitary lamp still burns. Rick sits at a table, staring into an empty highball glass, and in the shadows, Sam fingers the keyboard quietly. <clears throat> bing, 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 bing. Uh, boss, ain't you going to bed? Mm-hmm. Just not right now. Uh, well, ain't you planning on going to bed in the near future? <sighs> no, go on. Keep, go on, keep playing, will you? Uh, okay. Hey, boss, let's get out of here. Uh, there ain't nothing but trouble for you here. She's coming back. I know she's coming back. Well, we could take the car, uh, you and me, and uh, drive till morning. We'll go fishing somewhere and stay till she leaves. Ugarta died and she walks in. One out, one in. Of all the joints, and all the towns, and all the world, she walks into mine. Hey, what's that you're playing? Oh, uh, no, just a little something of my own. Well, stop it! Oh. You know what I want to hear. Uh, no, don't. Ah, oh. uh, you played it for her. You can play it for me. <sighs> yes, boss. <laughs> boss, listen. What? You got company. I was counting on it. Rick, may I talk to you? <laughs> so long, boss. <clears throat> Miss Ilsa, you shouldn't have come. You want a drink? No. <sighs> why did you come? Why did you have to come to Casablanca? I wouldn't have come if I'd known you were here. Believe me, Rick, it's true. Mm-hmm. Funny mm -hmm. about your voice. Still the same. Rick, dear, I'll go to any place with you. We'll get on a train together, and we'll never stop. Don't, Rick. Please, please uh, don't. I understand how you feel. How long did I know, honey? Oh, I didn't count the days. I did. Every one of them. Mostly, I remember the last one. Paris. A wow finish. Guy, want, want the, guy waiting at the station in the rain with a marriage license in his pocket. And a funny look on his kisser. Because the, <laughs> the sledgehammer just hit him between the eyes. Can I tell you a story, Rick? <laughs> Has it got a while finish? I don't know the finish yet myself. Okay. Maybe one will come up as you go along. It's, it's about a girl who met a man she's heard about her whole life. A great and courageous man. And soon, everything this girl knew or ever became was because of this man. She looked up to him and worshipped him with a feeling she thought was love. Yeah, I've heard better stories in my time. Tell me, was he a guy you left me for? Was it Laszlo? Or were there a few others in between? Rick, I... You've a got, lot of people ran away. Hold on. <laughs> You've got uh, someone who has inhaled too much helium. <laughs> All right. <laughs> a lot of people ran away from Paris that day. I wonder if they left notes. You left the note, did you? Sam brought it to me in the rainbow station. I guess it was the love flight in my eyes that helped him spot me and all the mob. Yes, I wrote you a note. I know it was cowardly, but I just couldn't face you. I cannot go with you or ever see you again. Remember, I must not ask why. You just believe that I love you and God bless you. That's little translation, Ilsa. I thought, I thought if I came back here tonight and spoke to you, I could make you understand. I'm... I'm sorry, Rick. Don't give up, honey. I'm just a slow study. Call again sometime and give it another whirl. We have searched uh, Ugarte's apartment again, Major. No luck. Someone else must have them. And I strongly su suspect that someone is Rick. 
I suggest you continue this search in the cafe. If Rick has the letters of transit, he is much too smart to let you find them there. <laughs> you give him too much credit. Just another blundering American. We must not underestimate, underestimate American blundering, Major. I was with them when they blundered into Berlin in 1980. Ooh. As Laszlo, I want him watched 24 hours a day. Yes. It's 10 o'clock, Major. And he and the girl are waiting now for us. Send them in. Uh, send them in, Cassell. I do not think we're going to get very far with Laszlo this morning. Nevertheless, there is no loss in making him the obvious offense. Only a loss of time. <clears throat> Good morning. I'm delighted to see you both. <clears throat> Laszlo, Mademoiselle. Good morning. Good morning. Won't you sit down? Thank you. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Man, leave my house. <laughs> What's up? Well, as a you French a poodle, uh, figure it out. Oh, <laughs> good God. Oh, jeez. Um, all right. <clears throat> but actually, we do lines. Yeah. You could do, like, yeah. Yeah. Woof, woof. Um, yeah, I can't remember what. Yeah, I from what? what? Oliver and Company. Oliver and Company was oh, there. gosh, I haven't yeah. seen that movie in ever. Yeah. Um, Wash your hair, I mean, I know the song. To like do the voice of Georgette because she's a poodle. Yeah. yeah, but I don't know who Georgette is. If I knew who Georgette was, then that would help. Did you... Just do a French poodle. Just do a French poodle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just do a French poodle. <laughs> <laughs> no one told me to. <laughs> we do. Yeah. Okay, here it goes. Alonso, we will not mince the words. That's a that's an Italian poodle. <laughs> He's well traveled. Yeah, I like how like you usually think French poodle means a female. Yeah, that's where well, I, I feel went with bad it. for any male French poodle. I guess that's got like the silly haircut. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I guess there are boy poodles. That makes sense. <laughs> Go on, Brian. Right. <laughs> I'm done. That was my line. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, good. Let's begin by saying that. I'm an escaped prisoner of the Third Reich, from whom no one ever escapes. Oh, I do not deny you are an exceptional man, Monsieur. Oh, you say a Third Reich, as if you would expect there would be others. Wolf, wolf. <laughs> Here you go. I take what comes, Major. Uh huh. Oh, so far, yes. You have been fortunate enough, a wolf, wolf, to elude us, a wolf, wolf. <laughs> You have reached Casablanca. I intend to make a certain you stay here, a wolf, a wolf. <laughs> that one is good. Yeah, it's, it's like a Russian poodle now, but whatever. I like the wolf. <laughs> wolf, wolf. Whether or not you succeed, Major, is, of course, problematical. Of course. Uh-huh, not quite. On all legs that the visa is issued here in Casablanca, Captain Renault, a signature is not necessary. Wolf, wolf. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying stuff, okay? Leave me alone. So I, gotta, I gotta get into it. Huh? <clears throat> Would you think it possible that Laszlo will receive a visa, Wolf Wolf? Wolf Wolf. <laughs> I'm afraid not, monsieur. Well, perhaps I'll like it here. And you, mademoiselle? You, you needn't be concerned about me. Uh-huh. As a matter of fact, you could both be on your way to Lisbon this very night, the wolf wolf. But of course, under certain conditions. Well, Major, what are your terms? <laughs> nice of you to ask. As a leader of the underground movement, you know where the other leaders are in Paris, Alphen, Prague, Amsterdam, wolf wolf. And Berlin. Furnish me the names and the exact whereabouts, and you will have your visa immediately, Wolf Wolf. And the honor of serving the Third Reich. Major, what if he did give them to you? What if you did track them down and kill them? From every corner of Europe, hundreds, thousands would rise and take their pla our places. Even Nazis can't kill that fast. Oh, you make only one mistake, uh-huh. 
In the event anything unfortunate should occur to Monsieur Larson, no one could take his place of Wolf Wolf. Thank you. <laughs> you wouldn't dare interfere with him here. This is still unoccupied France. Any violation of neutrality will reflect on you, Captain. Uh, monsieur, so far as it is in my power, that neutrality will be respected. Are you finished with us? <laughs> <laughs> For the moment, uh -huh. yes, wolf, wolf. <laughs> then, good day. Come here, uh -huh. <laughs> Your next steps towards securing a visa is what, monsieur? I don't know. Let me save you the time. Sooner or later, the man to see will be Signor Ferrari, and he operates the Blue Paris Cafe across the street from your hotel. Good day, mademoiselle. Yeah. <laughs> Musical bridge. Uh, hello, Ferrari. I saw the supply truck come in, and I thought I'd stop by for American cigarettes. But why yourself? The boy will bring them over. Every time he does, the air is a little bit short. None carrying the charges, my boy. Carrying the charges? Well, I'm glad you're here, Rick. I want to talk to you. The news about the guard, Terry. Mm. It does upset me very much. No, look. You don't feel any sorrier for Ugarte than I do. Of course not. What upsets me is that no one knows where those letters of transit are. Practically no one. If I could lay my hands on them, I could make out a fortune. And so could I. But I'm a poor businessman. I have a proposition for whoever has those letters. I will handle the entire transaction to get rid of the letters and take all of the risk for a small percentage. And that's a proposition I have for whoever has those letters. Ha! Well, I'll tell him when he comes in. Rick. Yes? I think you know where they are. Rinald and Stars Stasser think I so, too. That's really why I came over here. To give them a good chance to tear my place apart. Excuse me, senor. Ah, uh, yes? Uh, there is a man who wishes to see you. Monsieur Lazlo. Uh -huh. I was rather expecting him. Send him in. Is he alone? There is a lady. Also, he said she would wait outside. But she will not wait alone, eh? Rick? Well, suppose you just concentrate on Laszlo, hey, Ferrari? <laughs> Send him in, such. Uh, the back away. A little courtesy for Rick. Good morning. Hello, Rick. Sorry about last night. Doesn't matter. Your story, your story got me a little confused. Or maybe it was the bourbon. Forget it. You can repeat it now. I'm reasonably sober. I, I don't think I will. Why not? After all, I got stuck on the railway ticket. All right. Victor Laszlo is my husband. Well, what do you know? And he was, even when I knew you in Paris. I don't believe it. There seems to be so much you don't believe. What about it? <laughs> Happened almost a year before I met you. He, he loved me, and I thought I loved him. Soon after we were married, he had to leave France. And this time, he has to leave Casablanca? Yes, he must. Oh, you have so changed, Rick. The, the Rick I knew in Paris, I could tell him, but, but not you. I'll be leaving Casablanca soon, and I hope we'll never meet again. If we leave it that way, maybe we'll remember those old days and, and forget last night. Well, I'm not leaving Casablanca. I'm settled now, above the saloon. You walk up the flight of stairs, I'll expect you. It will take a miracle to get you out to Casablanca, Monsieur Laszlo. And the Germans have outlawed miracles. I got tired of waiting, Victor. Do you mind? Uh, sit down, Mademoiselle, please. You see, as I am a leader of all illegal activities in uh, Casablanca, I am an influential and respected man. But I am helpless to do so, or to do anything for Monsieur Laszlo. However, you are a different matter. He thinks it might be just possible to get an visa <clears throat> for you. To, to go alone? 
Yes. We're, we're only interested in two visas, sen senor. Please, Ilsa. You must get to America. And believe me, somehow, sometime, I'll join you. What if things were different? What if I had to stay and there was only one visa? Would you take it? Yes, I would. Then why don't you leave me in Lily, in Lil, while I had... Blah, blah, blah. Then why did you leave me in Lil when I had trouble getting out of there? Or in Marseille when I was ill and you were in desperate danger every second? Why didn't you leave me then, Victor? I meant to. Something always held me up. <laughs> I too am a very sensitive man, Monsieur. I know. I happen to love her very much. So, for the present, Signor, we'll go on looking for two visas. Thank you. I am moved to make a suggestion. Uh, you are aware of Ugarte in the Letters of Transit? Yes, uh, slightly. I ventured to guess that Ugarte left those letters in Rick's cafe. He is a difficult customer, but it is worth a chance. You've been very patient, senor. Good day. Writing, writing, where's my hey, book? what's going on? Hey, oh, what's going on? Oh, oh, doing stuff and writing. No, 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 what is this all about? Uh, near riot in your own cafe. You don't even bother to get up and see for yourself? I've got other things on my mind. What happened? <laughs> Some Germans <laughs> officers started to sing uh, the watch on the Rhine. They wanted the customers to join in. Well? They did. Except that they sing, the, they sing sounded more like uh, La Marseille. Well, yeah. with my usual tact, I handled the situation the perfectly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Rick. Uh, my men gave this place a rather thorough going over this morning. Yeah, we, we just barely got it cleaned up in time to open. Uh, yes. I told my men to be especially destructive. You son of a bitch. You know how that impresses Germans. Where are the letters, Rick? You see, Captain, oh. the situation is not as much under control as you believe. The song is verboten. How dare they sing it? Now, my dear Major, we, co we cooperate with your uh, government, but we cannot control the feelings of these refugees. Captain, you are entirely certain which side you are on. Oh, I blow with the wind, Major. <sighs> and right now, the prevailing breeze is from Vichy. Well, I have been sinking and sinking and sinking. <laughs> it is too dangerous for us to let Lazo to leave Casablanca, but it may also be too dangerous to let him stay. I know all of North Africa is honeycombed with traitors waiting for someone to lead them. Yes, it poses an intricate problem. There's one man who could solve it. Who? He just walked in, Victor Laszlo. I'm a very bright boy, Laszlo. I figured you came in here to see me, and I figured I and I figured you preferred seeing me in the office, alone. You do nothing but bewilder me. But hope I may also be able to help you. Hmm. You told me once you knew of my activities. Mm -hmm. Then you must know how important it is that I get out of here. Mm -hmm. to help continue the work of a very great movement. Yeah. The problems of the world are beyond me, Laszlo. I'm just a saloon keeper. My friends in the underground have told me differently. They mentioned Spain and Ethiopia, <clears throat> and a strange tendency of yours to be always with the underdog. Well, I found it, very, I found it a very expensive hobby, but then I never was much of a businessman. Are you enough of a businessman to appreciate an offer of 100,000 francs? I appreciate it, but I don't accept it. Two hundred thousand. Make it a million francs or ten francs. The answer's still no. There must be some reason why you refuse to sell the letters. There is. I suggest you ask your wife. I beg your pardon. I said, ask your wife. Bridge. Bridge. Are, are you leaving, Victor? Where are you going? <clears throat> oh. I thought I mentioned it. There's a meeting in the of the underground. Oh, please don't go, Victor. I I'm frightened. Look, look out the window. I don't have to, darling. I'm used to being trailed. 
What's going to happen, Victor? Who knows, Elsa dear. Strasser may threaten to find some excuse to put me quietly away in jail. <laughs> All the more reason why you must stay here tonight. I'm frightened too, Ilsa, but what can I do? Hide in a, to in a hotel room or carry on the, the best I can? Whatever I'd say, you'd carry on. Victor, why didn't you tell me about Rick? You saw him, didn't you? Apparently he has the letters. Yes? But no intention of selling them. You'd think that if sentiment wouldn't persuade him, that money would. Did you give him any reason? He suggested that I ask you. <gasps> ask me? Ilsa, in music. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo -doo -doo -doo. When I was in the concentration camp, were you lonely in Paris? Yes, Victor, I was. I know what it is to be lonely. Is there anything you wish to tell me? No. No, there, there isn't. My dear, I love you very much. Yes, I, I know. Uh, Victor, whatever I do, will you... Will you believe me that I... You don't even have to say it. I'll believe you. Good night, dear. Sucker. Good night, Victor. Idiot. Careful. You two damn go. Applause, applause, the curtain. <laughs> we pause now for a station identification. This is the Columbia Broadcasting System. Not in DC. <laughs> <laughs> in a few minutes, Mr. DeMille and our stars, Alan Ludd and Hedy Lamar and John Lauder will return in Act 3 of Casablanca. And now, here's our Hollywood reporter, Libby Collins. Greetings, Libby. What's new? Headley. Well, for one thing, Mr. Kennedy, my hat. What do you think of it? <laughs> Your hat, Libby? Why, uh, it's nice. Very nice. Yes, I like it. Oh, come on now. Stop hedging. What do you really think of it? Well, to tell you the truth, Libby, I hardly noticed the hat. I was looking at you. Well, Mr. Kennedy, that's a uh. compliment. But just let me turn around. <laughs> now look. Yeah, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. It's really quite a hat. Libby, that must be very new. <laughs> Are you sure you're looking at the hat? <laughs> new? No. It is, but, but how, will you, how would you know? <clears throat> well, it's uh, so sort of simple, not one of those dizzy numbers that looks as though it might fly off into space any minute. This Mr. Kennedy, you're an observant man. This is the newest thing, the profile cloche. It fits snugly on the head, and it's meant to frame the face, not take attention away from it. I think I begin to see why you wore that little hat tonight, Libby. Of course! To show that it's more important than ever for women to have nice, smooth skin. Sure, because with that kind of headgear, the emphasis is less on the hat than it is on a face underneath it. Well, Libby, I guess many of a woman is going to be mighty happy about her luxe soap complexion care, then. <laughs> oh, that one. Yes, this hat seems designed to set off a lovely luxe complexion, and it's going to be a popular style this spring. Then daily Lux soap complexion care ought to be more popular than ever, too, because gentle Lux toilet soap really makes skin softer and smoother. Recent tests showed that Lux soap beauty facials improved actually three out of four complexions, you know. Well, Mr. Kennedy, nearly every famous star in Hollywood is devoted to this fine white soap. Screen stars say the creamy Lux soap lather is wonderfully kind to delicate skin. And that's why, Libby, I'm going to urge every woman in our audience who hasn't tried Lux Toilet Soap to get some of Hollywood's beauty soap and use it every day. Here's a thrift tip, too. It's patriotic not to waste soap, and because Lux Soap is hard milled, you can use it down to the last thin sliver. It'll last you even longer if you always put it in the soap dish that's dry. Moisten the thin leftover piece and press it against your new cake of Lux Toilet Soap. Now, our producer, Mr. DeMille. Thank you, know, you Arsenal uh, uh, Roy2K, for your donation of $10 for Chunk. Oh my gosh, someone's someone stuck with Someone with peanut butter stuck to the roof of their mouth. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then we got a uh, group donation. Group donation. They've played this straight for too long. Actors get increasingly drunk with each line they read. <laughs> Remember our drunk challenge, guys. Yeah. Not everybody has to be a sleepy drunk. Yeah. yeah. 
Also, I just realized this is radio, so we have no idea what that guy was looking at. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm just saying. It was. You want to bust out the group one first? Yeah, let's yeah. bust out the group one first, yeah. Okay. okay. <clears throat> We'll report on the offstage doings of our stars after the play. <clears throat> but now here's the curtain for Act 3 of Casablanca, starring Eddie Lamar, Alan Lund, and John Lauder, and Angabaria. <clears throat> Somber introduction and increasingly suspenseful behind male music. <clears throat> for nearly an hour after Victor Laszlo left, left, last left for the meeting of the Already underground, done. Ilsa sat motionless. In the drab hotel room, <clears throat> suddenly, <clears throat> uh, her mind made up. She takes an object out of her husband's briefcase, walks through the dark, quiet night of the Rex Cafe, and up the outside stairs to leave the second floor. I told you this morning you'd come around, but there's a lot ahead of the schedule. Rick, I had to see you. That's what she said last night. And uh, all this was with nothing to do with the letters of transit, has it? Seems as long as I have those letters, I'll never be lonely. You can ask any price you want, but you must give them to me. Give them to me. I, 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 I went through all that with your husband. It's no deal. I know how you feel about me, but I'm asking you to put your feelings aside for something more important. Do, do, I, do I have to hear a girl or a man your husband is? Why I'm important to cause these fine. It was your fine for? It was your cause too. In your own way, you fought for the same thing. Well, well. Well, I'll fight for nothing anymore, except myself. Rick, you, what? you love, you once, what? once, huh? you loved, you loved me. If, huh? those de if those days mean like anything to you, like at all, like at all. I, 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 I wouldn't bring, I wouldn't bring a press if I were you. It's Poor, it's poor, it's, it's, it's poor shit. Listen, listen, Linda. Uh. Listen, listen to me, Rick, Rick, Rick. Uh. If, oh, if only, uh. hey, hey, uh. hey. If only you knew the truth, okay? I, I will believe it no matter, no matter what I told me. Why are what you told me? You will say anything and I'll get what you want. You want to feel sorry for yourself, don't you? One woman has hurt you, and you take your revenge on the rest of the world, Rick. Rick, please, please help us. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Victor will die in Castle Blanca. Why are you crying? Well, I'm going to die in Castle Blanca, too. <laughs> It's a good, it's a good spot for, it's a good spot for it. <laughs> I, I, I tried, I tried to read it with you, Rick. No, I want, uh, give me, what the letters? I got it, Elsa. Is there, is there, is there, is that gun in your hand? <laughs> Where are the letters, Rick? I have no. a pocket. I have a pocket. Put them on the table. Uh, no. Uh -uh, uh -uh. For the last time, put him on the table. I, uh, you go ahead, you go ahead and shoot Elsa. You'll be doing a favor. You guys are good. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Okay. You guys are good. I can't. You know I can't. I've done nothing but make a fool of myself. I don't know what to do, what to say. I thought I would never see you again. The day you left Paris, if you knew what I went through, if you knew how much I loved you, how much I still love you, pull yourself together. All right, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. But I believe you. You win. You win, Elsa. What happened? What happened? What was it? I've imagined everything in the world, and I know it was very pretty. I tried to tell 
tell you, a few months after Victor left France, word came that he was in a... Rick. 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 <laughs> 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 I tried to tell you, a few months after Victor left France, word came that he was in a concentration camp, and then, not long after, another message that he was dead. Shot. Trying to escape. I had nothing. Not even hope. Then I met you. I just threw up in my mouth a little. <laughs> you were doing vomit takes. I saw that, Chuck. That's what drunk people do. Yeah. You just yes. sneak them in there. And now you got peanut butter takes for you. Oh yeah, I got peanut butter. Now why weren't you honest with me? <laughs> then, why did you tell me you've been married? What? That, that, that he was dead or something? Victor wanted it that way. It was his way of protecting me. I knew too much about his work. It, if, here, drink this. Here, if the Gestapo found out I was his wife, it would be dangerous for me and for those working with us. <laughs> when did you find? When did you find out he was still alive? Was it like, was it like powdered peanut butter you had? I have no idea. I might have been expired. Oh, okay. Um, just before you and I were going to leave, his friends came. They were hiding in a freight car on the outskirts of Paris. He was almost dead. Well, that's it, Rick. It's still a story without, without an ending. What? What about now? Corey is hating the mouth. So. <laughs> Me too. That's why he's doing more of it. <laughs> I am giving the people what they asked for. What this is what they asked for. Now I I don't know. Except. <laughs> Is it going to be banned like vomit takes? And I hope not. <laughs> I'll never have the strength again to run away from you. And la and la and Laszlo? You'll help him, won't you? You'll see that he gets out, and then he'll have his work, all that he has been living for. Oh, oh, all except you. <laughs> oh, I can't fight anymore. <laughs> I don't know anymore what's right and what's wrong. You'll have to think for both of us, for, for all of us. Okay. Okay. I will. <laughs> only, if only I didn't love you so much. Oh, 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 Elsa. I, I, I. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, wait a minute. What? What's the matter? I, I got some I, of your peanut butter. Yeah, you got some. <laughs> oh, oh. I just turned the door closed. <laughs> I shut the door closed. Quiet, quiet, quiet. Hey, 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 hey Sam. I, it, is that you? Hey, yeah, boss. Oh, what's the matter? Uh, that Mr. Lazlo, I found him crawling through our cellar window. Victor. Uh, Sam, come up here. Uh, does he know you're here? <laughs> No. How many clicks can you get? <laughs> I have one How more. How many clicks more. do you get to the bottom of the peanut butter jar? <laughs> How many clicks do you need? <laughs> there was a meeting of the underground tonight. They must have been following him. Renault's men. Strasser's men. So he picks my place to hide? That, that's fine. Uh, you got some iodine, <laughs> boss, and some water for your mouth. Uh, he cut his hand breaking the window and... Oh. Hello, Sam. Uh, what's up, girl? Mm. Uh, evening, Miss Ilsa. Sam, I want you to take Miss Lunt to her hotel. What about Victor? <clears throat> he cut his hand, didn't he? I don't like blood on my floor. I'll go down and patch him up. And Sam? Yeah, boss? Miss Lunt will prefer going out the back stairs. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm uh, sorry about this, Rick. Had a little bit of trouble. Ah, uh, forget it. Well, I guess I had to take care of your uh, hand. Thanks. It's all right with you. I'd like to stay here for a few minutes longer. Yeah. Don't you sometimes wonder if it's worth all of this? What you're fighting for? We might as well question why we breathe. If we stop breathing, we'll die. If we stop fighting... Our enemies, well, the world will die. What of it? <laughs> you know how you sound, Rick? Like a man who is trying to convince himself of something he doesn't at all believe. 
Each of us has a destiny, for good or evil. Huh. I get the point. I wonder if you do. I wonder if you know that you're trying to escape from yourself and you'll never succeed. Well, you seem to know all about it. I know a good deal more than you, uh, than you expect, suspect. I know, for instance, that you're in love with a woman. Perhaps a strange circumstance that we should both be in love with her. No one's to blame, and I ask no explanation. I only ask one thing. You won't give me the letters of transit, all right. But I want Ilsa to be safe. I ask you for a favor to use the letters to take her away from Casablanca. You love her that much. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it's a Ryan impression on the house. On the house. <laughs> I like that he knew it too. Oh, he <laughs> did. Did. I was like, that's a terrible reading of that line. And Ryan was like, oh yeah, that was me. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> <Good> to- <laughs> Apparently, you think of me only as the leader of a cause. Well, I'm also a human being. Yes, I love her that much. You should not leave your back doors unlocked, Monsieur Rick. Yeah, that's right, Cassell. Not telling who might break in. Oh, I'm not. I'm a different character now. <laughs> yeah. uh, Monsieur Laszlo, you'll come with us. We have a warrant for your arrest. Ricky, I advise you to not be too interested in what happens to Laszlo. Oh, come on, stop bluffing. All you could do is fine him a few thousand francs. You might as well let him go now. Hey, what are you what are you charging him with? I haven't quite decided. Meanwhile, if by any chance you're thinking of helping him to escape... And uh, what makes you think I do that? Because, one, you bet 5,000 francs that he would, and two, <clears throat> you got the letters of transit. Don't bother to deny it. All right, get ready for a shock, Louis. <gasps> Louis, Louis, Louis. Mm. Yeah, I have the letters, but I intend to use them myself. I've been leaving Casablanca, the last plane tonight. What? And I'm taking my friend with me, one you'd appreciate. What friend? Ilsa Lund. Hmm. Now, I, that ought to put a mind to rest about me wanting to help Laszlo escape. What's the last man I'd want to see get out of here? You didn't come here to tell me this. Since you have the letters, you know very well you can fill in the names and leave any time you wish. Yes, we have the legal, the legal right to do so. But people sometimes are held in Casablanca in spite of their legal rights. Laszlo, for instance. What makes you think I want to hold you? It's, it's Laszlo's wife. She knows things that would interest Strasser tremendously. Louis, I'll make a deal with you. Go on. If you get me something really big against Laszlo, something that would chuck him up into a concentration camp for years, that would be quite a haul for you, wouldn't it? Uh, we, oui. Germany, uh, Vichy would be very grateful. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then release Laszlo now. You'd be at my place a half an hour before the plane live, leaves. I'll arrange to have Laszlo come here, pay, pick up the letters of transit. That will give you, uh, that will give you, you criminal grounds to arrest him. You take him, and Isla and I get away. There's something about this I don't quite understand. (laughs) Russian. (laughs) You were never before interested in a woman? In any woman, sorry. Well, she just isn't any woman. I see. How do I know that you will keep your end of the bargain? You You got Laszlo inside? Oui. Well, let me seem... Let me see him alone now. What? <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> let me see, see him, him alone, alone now. now. That's what it says. And yeah. I think it means let me see him alone. Let me I see him alone now. Though. We'll make the arrangements. <laughs> Open up your microphones and you'll hear every word. You would anyway. Still you. Yep, still me. That's super weird. Uh, Ricky. <laughs> Ricky. Ricky. I'm really going to miss you. Apparently, you're the only one in Casablanca who has ever has even less scruples than I. Yeah. <laughs> well, Rick. Yeah. Forty minutes, and you'll be on your way to Lisbon. Yep. 
Brooks Cafe. Oh, oh. This place will never be the same without you. Yeah, I sold it to Ferrari. And don't worry, he, only, he understands you're still to win at the roulette. <laughs> okay, thanks. You have the letters, Rick? Yep, right here. Tell me, when we searched the place, where were they? I dropped them in San Siano. Serves me right for not being musical. Hmm. Oh, they're here. You better wait in my office. Yes, good idea. Uh, hello, Issa. Where's, uh, where's Laszlo? Oh, he'll be right in. He's just paying the driver. Rick? <clears throat> what? Haven't you told Victor yet that he's going alone? He thinks I'm leaving with him. Uh, I'll tell him later. But, uh, it's all right, isn't it? it you were able to arrange everything? Oh, oh sh sure, 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 sure. But Victor doesn't... We'll tell him at the airport. The last time to think, the easier all for all of us. Just trust me. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> I think that was you, Chunk. You're Sean Connery now. Oh, all right. Oh, rest in peace. And we're also at the Sing Lines. Uh-huh. So Wait, uh, yep, okay. Oh, Let's finish. I'm gonna run out of lines though before it's like My... No, we still got, we have 11 pages left. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay. So let's finish this page and then we'll start the song. <clears throat> oh. Did you say your line already, Ryan? I did. Laszlo. Ah. Um, so we're in, we're singing now, yeah? Nope. No, okay. Oh, wait, we're at the top of the page. Let's sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll just, I'll, I'll start it. I'll start it. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I don't know how to thank you, Rick. Save it. There's still lots of things to do. I brought the money. It's in this briefcase. Forget it. You'll need it in America. But we made a deal. Never mind. Here mm. I got the letters here. They're made out of blink and signed by General Wagon. All you have to do is fill in the blanks. I'm sorry, Laszlo, you're under arrest again. Accessory to the murder of the couriers from whom those letters were stolen. You're surprised about my friend Ricky. Well, the explanation is a simple love. It seems has triumphed over virtue. Oh, now take it easy, Louie. Nobody's going to be arrested not for a while yet. Have you taken leave of your senses? Yeah, now sit down. Ah, uh, Ricky, Ricky, put down that gun. Now look, you wouldn't like it if... I wouldn't like to shoot you, Louie, but I will if you don't behave. <sighs> oh, under the circumstances, then I will sit down. Yeah, keep your hands on the table. I'm very unhappy, Ricky. There is a telephone right next to you, Louie. Now pick it up and dial the airport. They wouldn't want any trouble there either. Remember, Louie, this gun is pointed right at your heart. That's my least vulnerable spot. Okay. <laughs> or? Hello? Hello, hello. Oh, I, hold on. Hello. <laughs> Hello, is this the airport? What are you talking about? This is my distresser. Captain Reno, I want to speak to the operations manager. What? Oh, go ahead, Renault. Oh, monsieur, a man, a woman. We'll arrive shortly at the airport. Uh-huh. They will go abroad the Lisbon plane. They carry two letters of transit. Oh. There is to be absolutely no trouble for them. Understand? I will be here there right away. <laughs> Merci. Mm -hmm. Boop, boop, climax. Mm -hmm. 
Max then fades out. <laughs> oh, this is my chance. This is my chance. <clears throat> Lisbon plane taking off in five minutes. Minutes, minutes, minutes. This is the last call for passengers to please board the plane. Plane, plane. Lisbon plane, plane, plane. Five minutes, 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 minutes. You've got to hurry now, Lashlo. Take care of your luggage. We'll watch <laughs> here. I'll be right back. Here's a fountain pen, Lewis. I think it might look nicer if you filled the names on the letters. You think of everything, don't you? Yes. And the names are Mr. and Mrs. Victor Laszlo. Rick, why my name? Because you're getting on that plane. I... I don't understand, but... What about you? I'm sure. Yes. What about you? I'm staying here. No. No, Rick, what what's happened? Last night you said Light and last night I said I do I do the talking for the both of us. <laughs> well <laughs> I've done lots instead. And it all adds up to just one thing. You're getting on that plane with Lashlo. I won't leave you again, Rick. I won't. Listen to me. Do you have an idea what you have to look forward to if you stay here? We should both have to and wind up in a concentration camp. Is that like Richard Nixon with food in his mouth? Hey, yes. look, I'm trying real hard. I'm trying real hard. Yes. I am afraid that Major Strezer might insist. You're only saying this to make me go. Saying it because it's true. Mm, give me a second. Okay. I scrolled accidentally. Oh, no. <laughs> Bottom of 53. Thank you. I was in 54. Ah. <clears throat> I'm saying it because it's true. Inside of us, we both know you belong to Victor. And what happens to you? Well, I got a job for you, Elsa. And where I'm going, you can't follow. I'm sounding noble now. I'm not very good at it. But it doesn't, it doesn't take much to see that the problems of two little people, well, they just don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. Someday, you'll understand that. Well, everything's in order. All except one thing. There's something you have to know before we leave. Please. You don't have to explain anything. But I'm going to, because it may make a difference to you later on. You know about Rick and me. Yes. But you didn't know I was with him last night at his place when you were there. No. She came to get the letters. She tried everything to get get them, and nothing worked. She did her best to convince me she was still going she was still in love with you. But that was over a long time ago. For your sake, she pretended it wasn't. Well, I let her pretend. Oh, she was still in love with me. Okay, <laughs> let me start over. She did her <laughs> yes, best please. to convince me she was still in love with me. But that was a, that was over a long time ago. For your sake, she pretended it wasn't. Well, I let her pretend. I understand. Well, yeah. here are the letters. Good luck. Welcome back to the fight, Rick. <clears throat> are you ready, darling? Yes, I am. Goodbye, Rick. God bless you. Come on, go on. You better hurry. You'll miss that plane. Well, there you go, Rick. <laughs> I was right. You are a sentimentalist. I, I don't know what you're talking about. You know. I'll have to arrest you, of course. Yeah, yeah, as soon as the plane takes off, Louis. Captain <laughs> Reynold! Oh, I may still win my bet, Rick. Reynolds, what was the meaning of that phone call? Victor Laszlo is on the plane. <laughs> we'll stop him! Stop him! What are you standing here for? Because Monsieur Rick has a gun in my, my, my stomach. I was willing to shoot Captain Renault. I'm willing to shoot you too, Major. Are you crazy? Guards! Guards! Don't call anyone, Major, or I'll shoot. Stop it right there! Wait! Wait! The plane must not take off! The plane must... Go! Go! Oops. <laughs> What's happened here? Did someone shoot? What are you doing? Oh, Captain Renault! 
Someone has just shot Major Stresser. Oh! Oh! Uh, telephone Lieutenant Castle immediately. Yes, and Captain. tell him to round up the usual suspects. Uh, yes, Captain. Ricky, I might be good. For, uh, it might be a good idea for you to disappear from Casablanca for a while. There's a free French garrison at the Brazzaville. I could be induced to arrange your passage. Hey, look, you still owe me 5,000 francs. 5,000 francs should just about pay for our expenses. Our expenses? Mm-hmm. Oh, Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Da, 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 da. <laughs> applause, applause, applause. <laughs> hey, we missed a line. Yeah, he, he didn't say that line. Yeah, he didn't say, here's, here's, here's looking at you, kid. Kid. Uh. Or maybe not today, or maybe not tomorrow, but someday. So that's huh. this movie, right? Yeah. Should be, yeah. That's yeah. this movie, too. Yeah. Well, what happened? Hmm. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> what? Oh, God. <laughs> can we get, can, oh, I knocked over my pad. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going to be short. <laughs> stay out of there. You stay out of there. In private life, Hedy Lamar is Miss John Lauder, and so as we present our stars for a curtain call, I'll introduce them as Alan Ladd and Mr. and Mrs. John Lauder. Although they have been married almost a year, it's our first chance to congratulate them. Oh, hey. that's cool. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. You know, he beats me. What? Huh? <laughs> 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 you know he beats me. <laughs> How is that supposed to <laughs> What? Um. <laughs> um. Well, I, I think yes. I think it's I think, I think if we it's keep a joke. I think it's a joke. I think Let's if keep we keep reading, reading <laughs> it's a bit. And we should probably not just stop there. <laughs> I'm gonna need a minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Well, thank you, Mr. Deville. You know he beats me. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's literally what it says. <laughs> I know. That is. <laughs> but this is my wife, Haley. You know she beats me. <laughs> <laughs> I think oh, because we stopped, we made it worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, that was a page break, so that made it worse. It was yeah. a page break, too. Okay. And then it was okay. me okay. going, the fuck? <laughs> okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it. We'll do it. Thank you, Mr. DeMille. You know, he beats me. What, what do you mean? Come on, take, 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 come on, take your coat off there. Take your coat off, Mr. Lutter. At Jim Rummy. Ah. Uh, you, you just saved me. We want your expert opinion on something. Oh, Mr. Uh, we want your expert opinion on something, Mr. DeMille. Uh, for you, Hetty, anything. I'm loader now for Italy. something. Oh, uh, Mrs. John. Oh, John Loder, is somebody else. Oh, oh, I think that's Ryan. That's, you. that's Ryan. Both Ryan. Or wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I write them both down. I think I'm John. Loder is Laszlo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Good to know. All right. When a husband and wife are in one of your plays, do you recommend a little extra rehearsing at home? Mm. <laughs> You know what I'm saying with the pleasant uh, musket? <laughs> <clears throat> oh, definitely, John. Offhand, I can't think of anything more pleasant than uh, going over a love scene with Hetty. If uh, Mr. <laughs> DeMille is listening, he's only kidding. <clears throat> uh, we'd better drop this. Yeah, yeah, quickly. Awkward conversation Ooh. these people were having. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. <laughs> Well, I'll change the subject, CB, because there's something I want to say to Humphrey Bogart's fans. Humphrey Bogart's... Bogart's... Humphrey Bogart's fans. It was a privilege for me to play that part and he, that he made famous. But, well, really, nobody could play it like Bogey. And i really like to wish him... Yeah! All right. I'd really like to wish him all the luck in the world over in the Mediterranean era where he's entertaining American soldiers. Luck and safe return. I suppose Alan has shown you the photographs of his new daughter, Hetty. Why, Hedley. no. Well, there's no, L. there's no L there. You're, it's a Blazing Saddles joke. Oh. Hedley. 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 <laughs> well, how'd I miss you? 
It seems I just have a dozen or so around here. Pure accident, pure accident. But uh, her beauty reminds me of something that I must ask John as a man to man. Straight answer. <laughs> uh, there's a joke there. Yes, John, <laughs> I know I want uh, I want to know if Hetty sees that uh, you get the right kind of uh, soap at home. Why, Mr. DeMille. I'll answer that. I guess I'm going by my first name now, <laughs> Mr. DeMille. But I'm a little hurt you even ask. I have Lux soap in my dressing room at the studio and naturally at home too. I've used it for years. Lucky Lux to be on such good terms with you, Hetty. Now let me tell you what we've planned for next week. <laughs> Ow. Ouch. Sorry. No one. What's the show, CB? One of the big dramatic prizes of the past year, Metro Goldwyn Mayer hit Random Harvest. <gasps> and that isn't all, because our stars will be Ronald Coleman and Greer Garson. Yeah! Yeah! Applause. They're the original stars of the picture, and next Monday night we present them both in this powerful story of a soldier and the girl who loves him. A great drama made even greater by the artistry of Greg or Greer Garson and Ronald Coleman. It's a wonderful picture, Mr. DeMille. I'll be listening. Good night. Good night. Good, Good night. night. Good 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 night. Applause, applause, applause. That applause goes from coast to coast. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's a tiny island in the mid-Pacific called Tarawa. That pronunciation, incidentally, is from the National Geographic Society. <laughs> so I got it right. Uh, <laughs> that island will never be important economically. It is no rich source of raw materials, but the name of Tarawa has been written indelibly into American memory in what... Uh, what's my place? Jesus. Uh, American memory in blood of American sons. Out to the first group of Marines who landed on Tarawa, more than a half will never fight again. It's there. Is there anyone listening who can truthfully say, I can't afford to buy any more war bonds? Ah. That was just a tiny island. <clears throat> the continent of Europe has yet to come. The temple of invasion is moving ever faster, and that's why we have a fourth war loan drive. That's why every American who deserves that name will buy at least one extra war bond now. We must not only buy the attack, we must help our boys to lead it. Lux theme! <laughs> Our sponsors, the makers of Lux Toilet Soap, join me in inviting you to be with us again next Monday night when Lux Radio Theater pre presents Ronald Coleman and Greer Garson in Random Harvest. This is Cecil B. DeMille saying good night to you from Hollywood. <clears throat> applause, 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 applause. Alan Ladd appears through the cooperation of Paramount Pictures, whose current production is Miracle of Morgan's Creek. John Lauder is currently seen in the Warner Brothers picture, Old Acquaintances, and is now making the Jules Levy production, The Hairy Ape. Edgar Berry is now seen in the Universal picture, Flesh and Fantasy. Our music was directed by Louis Silvers. And this is your announcer, John M. Kennedy, reminding you to tune in next time on Monday night to hear Ronald Coleman and Greer Garson in Random Harvest. <laughs> Say, have you heard about Spry? Ding, 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 ding. Your rations, po your ration points go farther. Go farther. Go farther. <laughs> your, oh, your, your ration, ration points, points, go points go farther. Farther. <laughs> when you're it's cooking, okay cooking with, with Spry. <laughs> yeah, Spry is a shortening by. Women everywhere are saying. A jar of spry, please! Cha-ching! A jar of spry! Cha-ching! A jar of spry, please! Cha-ching! Spry! Cha-ching! Spry! Cha-ching! Spry! Cha-ching! This is the Columbia Broadcast System. Cha-ching! Thank you. Thank you. We got through. Oh. So you can clearly tell we do not pre-read. Nope, not I one was committed, I was committed to word. it, too, and yeah, I was like, the yeah. F did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Thank That's you, so Mr. DeMille. He beats me. Such a bad <laughs> joke. So bad.
<laughs> then it just got like worse, and then it got worse. And it was like your wife might be listening. Like, oh jeez. <laughs> I think this is the longest it's taken us to read a play so far. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, it, really. it's a one-hour play. It took us two hours to do. <laughs> That's because we're so good at it. It's cause, yeah, it's exactly I like, why. I like the peanut butter. That was pretty funny. <laughs> You guys are getting creative. You're getting creative. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was fun. That was fun. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Are we, are we rating somebody, Ryan? Yeah. We appreciate all your fine. donations. We appreciate yeah. hanging out with us. It's yeah. been a hoot. Yeah. <laughs> and a holler. A hoot and or holler. <laughs> and or. And or. Uh, <laughs> Hardliner says, yes, I can't afford to buy any more war bonds because I bought a lot of Lux soap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know how it goes. You would think for all the advertising, like we would know what Lux soap. Like, did the company die? Did it turn into something else? Like, was, no. One of the one of the chats said it still exists in I think Australia. Yeah. No way. It owned, it's yeah. owned by Lever Brothers now. Well, who's that? Lever Two Thousand Company. They oh, they oh, own oh, like God. they own like all the soaps. So Lux probably like trans. It's probably Lux still. Yeah. It's now Lever. <laughs> I didn't oh, know right. Lever was like the main brand of soap. I figured it was like Dove or something. <laughs> or like um, <clears throat> that one, Johnson & Johnson. They own a lot of stuff. They own a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. yes. Lux, please. All right, we are going to raid Lady Danger. Lady Danger. Yeah. Yeah. Lady Danger. Do. Danger. They're playing Among She's in Us danger. right now. Oh, cool. Well, you oh, guys have fun. There's a who lives a life of danger. Just Sunday morning for our schedule for the week. It might be a little different, maybe. Yes. We'll let you know. And there Check will not be any um, tabletop for two this Sunday, I believe. Copy that. Maybe. Maybe. Everyone maybe. she meets maybe. is just, we'll just a stranger. We'll, we'll post it. <laughs> See you guys later. Good night, everybody. Bye. Don't forget to buy your war bonds. <laughs> yes. And your luck soap, please. And your luck soap. Why? And please don't beat anybody.